Are you serious? Are we going live? It's 2 o'clock in the morning in Israel, here in Jerusalem. It's 2 a.m. What? Uh, but it is Sunday Night Live, and it's 7 p.m., I guess, or almost 7 p.m. Uh, in the East Coast in America. I want to say welcome to Sunday Night Live. It is a powerful broadcast. Um, I'm going to keep the lights down low. I don't want to wake up the whole neighborhood here in Jerusalem. Last thing you want to do is wake up the neighborhood in Jerusalem. Um, and also let Sister Heidi rest, please. Uh, but by the way, there's a lot going on. And we, I mean, it's huge what's going on. I don't know which big story do I need to talk about first because there's so much taking place. Uh, but I'm just going to wait just a couple minutes here and let some folks get in here. Um, because I am on just a couple minutes early, and uh, it's just incredible what we've been witnessing all over the world, really. <clears throat> um, what's going on in Hawaii is huge right now. Breaking news in Hawaii, it is huge what's taking place in Hawaii. And uh, what can I say other than it's crazy. Um, I pray for the people of Hawaii. Some of those folks are now being cut off. They're stranded. They've been cut off. There's no water, no power, and the hot lava is flowing, and now they have no escape routes. And there's several people now that have been trapped in this situation, and it's going to get worse throughout the night. As the lava continues to flow, uh, it is, uh, it's just incredible what's taking place in Hawaii. Also, we got big news um, in West Virginia, uh, as we have floodwaters raging now in West Virginia. Eight different counties in the state of West Virginia are in a state of emergency. And matter of fact, I just got a phone call from ABC News in New York called me on the phone uh, because of our YouTube video we did uh, with the dynamic footage about the floodwaters raging in West Virginia. They called and wanted to know if, uh, if they could use the footage for ABC News tonight in New York City. I told them it wasn't my video, but the, uh, and I gave them the name of the, uh, the ladies that sent us the video. And so we want to thank Vicki. We want to thank uh, uh, Rihanna and Judy for sending us the footage of the uh, floodwaters raging in West Virginia. They sent the footage to us, gave us permission we could use it. We put it up as a YouTube video, and in less than an hour, our phone rang, and it was ABC News New York City, ABC News New York, wanting to use it for the, uh, for the news, to use the footage on the news, because it was such great footage. And so we put them in contact with uh, Vicky and Rihanna and Judy. Uh, so you may see that floodwater footage actually on the news in New York uh, or nationally even on ABC News. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, I couldn't believe it. They tracked us down all the way here. I said, look, I'm in Jerusalem. They tracked us down. Okay, now, what's going on is a whole lot of things. It's not just West Virginia, it's not just Hawaii, but right here in Israel, as, of course, uh, there was two days of ceasefire. We were hoping everybody would just calm down after all the rockets. You know, the Hamas fired 185 rockets from the Gaza Strip into Israel. Israel responded, uh, hitting 55 targets in the Gaza Strip. Um, then the Palestinians said, no more, no more. Can we have a ceasefire? Israel said, sure. That lasted two days. And then Hamas fired a rocket. They actually ended up sitting and firing three rockets into Israel last night, early this morning, actually, early Sunday morning. Israel responded by uh, flying, flying into Gaza and blowing up 15 Hamas targets. Um, and unfortunately, I know there was a, a woman that was killed. She was a nurse. So the media is making a big issue out of that. Um, and even 
took it all the way to the United Nations, of which then Nikki Haley had to stand up and veto a resolution that was brought forward by the Kuwaiti government trying to condemn Israel and was calling for international protection of the Gaza Strip. So they were trying to declare war on Israel using the United Nations. Now, today I've seen two United Nations vehicles running. Our car that we were in was pulled over and uh, went through a complete inspection. They had us get out of the car, checked our passports, went through all of our cameras, everything. Um, uh, our cab driver wasn't very happy about it, but he had to comply. But that's standard procedure. It was whereas our car wasn't the only one. They they were pulling over several, and the reason is we were in the West Bank, and uh, and so these things had happened, and so everybody's on heightened alert now. But really, it's very peaceful. It's been very peaceful here in Jerusalem, and basically in Israel. It's really just Gaza where this uprising has been continuing to go on, and there's nothing anybody can do really about that um, but to pray. And of course, there's never going to be peace. You know, that's one thing is we got to just say. That really, I don't care if they sign a peace agreement or not, a covenant with many like it says in the Bible. It, it's We're never going to have peace here until the Prince of Peace comes, until the Messiah, until... Uh, uh, Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, till he comes. There truly, truly will never be peace. You know, he, Jesus even said these words. He said, you know, in the world you'll have trouble, but in me you'll have peace. All right. So we're going to talk about a lot of things here tonight. Great to see everyone. I want to say hi to Natalie, Barry, Terry, Kimberly, fly fishing, for heaven's sake. Robo mom's in the house. She said the lights are off and Pastor Paul's home. What? Well, really, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not home, Robo Mom. We're here in Jerusalem, but lights are down, um, and I'm staying kind of quiet. Can you guys hear me, though? Can you guys hear me? Um, you just can't stop prophecy. You're right, Christy. You just can't stop prophecy. It doesn't stop. doesn't matter what we want to do. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> Robo Mom says, hi, brother. Hey, there's the Southern Boy, Jane, Ashley, Sarah, Barry. Uh, Mike's in the house, Purple. Uh, yeah, this is the Salvation Station, and uh, we're glad to be with all of you guys tonight. Like I said, it's 2 a.m. here in Jerusalem. Uh, the situation is getting very bad in Hawaii, and it's getting very bad in West Virginia. And don't forget, there's wildfires burning out of control in Colorado and in, uh, I believe it's New Mexico, uh, Somebody help me. Certainly Colorado, maybe Arizona. Uh, they're burning out of control. 